hello viewers welcome to my gis learning channel as i am starting new series where i am working with lidar data set today i will cover three topics first one is how to extract lidar data and uh, secondly i will create lidar data set from two lidar last file then I will show you how to export LiDAR data into CSV file. So let's start. First one is how to extract LiDAR data set. So for this, you have to go here in the geoprocessing tab. Type here extract plus. Under 3D analyst tool you will find this option extra class click on this you have to insert the input last data set okay here is our input last data set this one in my previous tutorial I showed you how to download LiDAR data set but today I am using my previous LiDAR data set to continue my this tutorial so I am selecting the LiDAR data set here and the target folder where you want to save your data in my case I will save all my data in this P folder click OK and the output last data set if you uh, give here a name then it will create last data set but I want to uh, extract this file as a last file I do not want to create uh, the last data set I just want it as last file so I am keeping this as empty in the processing extent you have to insert the boundary here in my case I have this boundary this is the first polygon this is my second polygon first extract the lighter data set that inside this boundary so I am selecting this boundary in the extraction boundary select the area and last file option give here a name suffix so at the end of this name it will be added okay. suppose it is part one and keep this as uh, as default then click on run now we can add our newly created lighter data set from here by going to add data then you have to refresh this here is our newly created lidar data set part one selecting this layer and then click ok you will see only the selected portion of the lidar data set are extracted here now in the same way i will extract uh, lidar data set from this portion okay so again I'm turn on my old LiDAR data set and turn on my shape file and this time I will select this portion by using the select feature. Now this portion of the LiDAR data set is selected and again extract last tool select the input dat uh, last data set in this case this is the old last data set target folder it is also the same and output last data set I am keeping this as empty as I want this as last data format and the extraction boundary I am again selecting the area and I also select this portion by using this feature select by rectangle and the output file name suffix change i am changing this name to part 2 and then click on run 
now it will extract only this portion lighter data let's add our new data for this going to add data option and then add data then refresh it select this path to lighter data set and click on ok you will see this portion of the data set is extracted so in this way you can uh, extract lighter data set and uh, do further analysis with that selected lighter data set so our next topic how to create lighter data set uh, for this i do not need this anymore so i am removing my old lighter data set uh, now i will create last data set using these two li uh, last file so for this i will go to catalog here in my connected folder i'll right click my mouse and select this one then go to last data set and selecting this option it will create last data set file name this new file now right click on this and go to the properties then go to last files then select this one add files okay now i will add this two file and create one last data set using this two file so i am selecting this two file using my control key button then open it we will find some important information here this is the lidar version 1.4 lidar data set version and this is the point count number of point in part 1 data set and this is the number of point in part 2 data set and it is the point spacing between each point here uh, this is 1.3 and second one is 1.2 so maximum point spacing is 1.3 feet if you want to see the coordinate system then go to here coordinate system you will find this horizontal coordinate system its linear unit is in feet and also find this vertical coordinate system it's also linear unit is in feet okay now you can go to this general option and see the summary of these two data total last point this this is the total last point in this two last file and also you will find this information xy linear unit in foot and z unit is also in foot in the statistic column we will find this information the number of point that are unassigned and the total number of point that are ground after adding the two files click on ok now select this last data set and select this one add to current map and turn off my previous two last data set here is our newly created last data set so in this way you can create last data set